As Shavuos approaches, it's important for us to step back and get the essence of the Yom Tif as part of our preparation for receiving the Torah. We know that by Matan Torah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu came down and Moshe Rabbeinu went up. And this signified a new part of the relationship between us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Up until now, the world was the world and HaKadosh Baruch Hu was HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaShamayim Shamayim LaHashem V'Aretz Nasan Levnei Adam the Elyonim were the Elyonim, and the Tachtonim were the Tachtonim. But now, with Matan Torah, HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes down, so to speak, into the world, and the world elevates towards Him. But is this really new? Did we not have Nevi'im in the world that brought HaKadosh Baruch Hu down? Did we not have Tzadikim in the world that raised the world up before Matan Torah? What really changed? By the Aseris HaDebros, the very first word is Anochi. And Chazal tell us, Anochi stands for Ananashi Ksavis Yahavis. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, I wrote my essence into the Torah. And this gives us a phenomenal insight into the Torah, but it also gives us a phenomenal insight into the world as it is right now. HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, Now I'm going to reveal myself. Not myself as you've always seen me. Not myself in the El Yonim sense. I'm even going to reveal myself below. Because infinite can reveal himself everywhere. There is no place that's devoid of him. So if God is infinite, he's not just in the Elyonim. He's in the Tachtonim as well. So when HaKadosh Baruch Hu came down onto the mountain, it's true that he had come down before, but he had always come down in the sense of God has come down to the world. Now what we're seeing is the godliness of the world. And in that way, the world is being elevated towards God as well. Let's think about this in terms of a relationship. In a relationship, there's always me and you. And I am I and you are you. And that's very healthy. That's healthy and appropriate boundaries. But where do we merge? Where do we become one? Where is true intimacy found? Intimacy is found when I am me within you. And you are you within me. As long as I am I and you are you, that's amazing. But that means that I'm myself and you're you and never the twain shall meet. The true avoda of intimacy is for me to retain my identity and yet at the same time merge with you. Up until now in the world, HaKadosh Baruch Hu had been HaKadosh Baruch Hu, And the world had been the world. And of course we were in a relationship, but the relationship was sort of in between. There wasn't yet this concept of revealing yourself within the other. HaKadosh Baruch had not yet revealed himself within the world. And the world had not yet revealed itself to be godly. So even though there were tzaddikim that elevated the world, it's not the same. That was just coming closer. Now, after Matan Torah, we're not becoming closer. We're becoming one. And that's why Matan Torah is compared to a wedding. Because that's what a chasna is really about. A chasna is not about two people getting closer to each other. It's about two people becoming one. That's what marriage really is. It's called Kedushin. It's Kedushin because it reveals the Kedusha, which is the essence of the thing. The inherent essence is, of any marriage, that I am not I and you are not you, but I am I and you are you. Together we form something new. And that's the relationship. And this is what Matan Torah is really all about. That's why in Matan Torah and Harsinai there was Kolo, Subrakim, it was a fireworks show because it was an amazing celebration. It was a celebration of a whole new vision of the world, the intimacy that we can achieve with HaKadosh Baruch Hu.